Importing your existing CAD data into 3ds Max is a simple operation. 3ds Max has a direct import application for most common CAD file formats including FBX for Autodesk Revit, IPT and IAM for Autodesk Inventor and of course the DWG file format for AutoCAD. Import options for AutoCAD drawing files for example allow for the inclusion of specific layers meaning that you only need to import the CAD data necessary to build your 3D model. With the required CAD data successfully imported, it is easily managed with the use of 3ds Max's own layer manager application, allowing the user to display or hide relevant CAD layers or 3D model objects within the scene. The imported CAD data can be used to help generate the required 3D model. 3ds Max uses a series of modifiers allowing outline 2D shapes to be extruded into 3D objects, which can undergo further modification to develop the finished 3D model. Each 3D object consists of a number of polygon faces, which when selected can be transformed into new positions and shapes. New objects such as custom furniture or door and window units can be quickly and easily created using powerful polygon modeling tools. Such tools are at the heart of 3ds Max's modeling capability and allow for the creation of many detailed parts. Parametric object types are also available, enabling the user to create, among others, standard doors, windows and stair objects. Using 3ds Max's full-featured 3D modeling functions will enable you to create both external and internal 3D conceptual environments. Using 3ds Max's powerful material editor, you can create realistic looking materials and textures and apply them to the 3D geometry surfaces. Complex looking materials can be easily created from a series of template options including materials such as glossy varnished wood, glass and various plastic and concrete finishes. Many materials use photographic images to help create greater realism and 3ds Max provides modifiers to help correctly position and size the image maps providing full control for the application of all materials. Individual objects can be created in their own scene and then merged or imported into other environments. Once in place these imported objects can then be transformed by moving and rotating them to their required position. As an alternative to creating your own model content Websites such as TurboSquid.com provide high quality 3D models in formats ready for importing directly into your 3ds Max scene. With such highly detailed 3D models, it is possible to create increasingly believable and convincing design concepts. Realistic and physics based external lighting can be achieved through the use of 3ds Max's powerful daylight system. Accurate time and date values can be set, as well as precise geographical locations, meaning that your daylight system is completely relevant to your 3D environment. Sunlight and skylight values can be adjusted to achieve a perfect match for when your scene is merged with a photographed background image. And because of the accuracy of the daylight system in terms of time and location, it can be used as an effective tool for shadow studies. The built-in photographic exposure control lets you modify rendered image output with camera-like settings, with the ability to adjust the viewing camera's shutter speed, aperture size and film settings, just like on a real camera. For internal lighting scenarios, both photographic exposure control and physically based photometric lights can be used. Photometric lights use light energy values that enable you to more accurately define lights as they would appear in the real world. You can create lights from a standard list complete with various distribution and colour characteristics or import specific photometric files available from lighting manufacturers. Light distribution can be checked through the built-in light viewer and colour and intensity values can be manually adjusted where necessary. The daylight system can also be used to light internal scenes allowing natural sky and sunlight through openings in the building. While simple changes to existing materials used in the scene or adjustments to the lighting levels and exposure control value can create visual concepts otherwise difficult to convey in simple sketches or two-dimensional CAD drawings. And as a result, you are more likely to impress your customers with a highly dynamic design concept.